Hey, this is Chuck, and you are listening to Fans with Bands, the podcast where we talk to the fans and the bands they dig about life, music, and whatever the hell else we want to talk about. Today on Fans with Bands, we are talking to the fantastic death metal band Centenary. Fire up the chainsaws and check it out. Hey, this is Chuck with Fans with Bands, and I am talking to Al, Mike, Jim, Matt, and Adam from the band Centenary. How you hey, doing, guys? What's up? <laughs> Right. Yay. How's it going? And joining What's us up? are fans. Uh, let's see, we've got Mike, we've got Greg, we got Jeff, we've got Craig, uh, who's also from CDN Records. We got Nikki, and we've got Captain Judas. So, how's everybody doing? Cool, doing great. Awesome. This is pretty awesome. cool to uh, get together with all the people and talk about this stuff. Yeah, hell yeah, it's awesome. Thank you, um, Chuck, for having us, man. Oh, yeah. hey, you know. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah, for sure, man. Have have been a fan of you guys ever since. I think it, the first time I saw you guys was at Berserker, um, shit, where you took okay. some of the most killer pictures of us, <laughs> and oh, I yeah. still use to this day. And, oh, for and sure, for sure. I had an issue because a buddy of mine took one of the pictures <laughs> and fucking made a shirt out of it. Dude, Chuck was all over him. It was fucking badass. <laughs> was awesome. Yeah, that was funny. I bought, I bought <laughs> one. No, I bought was... one for my woman, man, and she wears it. Oh, really? And shit, awesome. Man. It's kind of awesome. weird having your shit on a shirt. <laughs> no, that's really cool. That's super cool. And actually, you know, I, you know, I, I wouldn't really give a fuck if anybody uses any of those pictures. You guys know that I don't care really, and I, I didn't want to get any cash from the guy. I just wanted to make sure that I got some credit. You know? Oh yeah. Like, well, yeah. Photo that's, from this always, always. So. Oh, totally, man. Yeah. Always. Totally. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, it's great to have you guys here. It's great to have the fans here as well. Um, if anybody's muted, you know, just feel free to unmute yourself at any time to ask questions. Um, but what I like to do is, is kind of start things off with the fans and kind of get some stories about how you became fans of Centenary. So Mike B, how about you, man? Yeah. Um, I've been going to shows for quite some time. I've known Mike, uh, for a long time. And, um, uh, going to shows to see them at Corktown upstairs, you know, supporting a lot of bands that come in through town. So, uh, yeah, just knowing him through that way. And then over time, you just start meeting uh, band members, things like that. You become yeah. friends, you know, stay connected. So, yeah. yeah. Were you at that, uh, was it the Mortar Skull show? Yes. Yeah. Yes, I was there. It was fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah you're great. Mike, great at taking Mike's photos. So, yeah, Mike's always at <laughs> shows, man. He's 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 a he's a welcome face when I walk into a place, and it's like you know, if he's not already there, he's somebody that's uh, that's gonna be there always, man. He lives he lives walking distance from my house. Oh, serious? Yeah, nice. yeah, we're pretty yeah. close. Weird, Very yeah. Close. Well, not my house; it's my apartment. I'm gonna be moving soon, but I mean, he still lives really close to. Yeah, yeah, yep. I. I had, I had, I'd seen Mike at many shows, but I'd, I'd never really introduced myself. I think Mike until I'm like really talked to you at uh, sanctuary. I think it was. Yeah. So it yep. would have been um, iron Reagan or one of those shows, but yeah. Very cool. You took uh really good photos at um, this havoc show that happened a few years ago. It was a uh, havoc and tyrant and a couple other yeah. bands. It was at the loving touch. Yeah, yeah. So oh, yeah, that was that was cool. That was that a good, show, uh, photo thing you got there. So that show was insane because that place is so small and everybody's like getting nuts. It was mm -hmm. like <laughs> you had to watch your head there. Yep. <laughs> but uh, there was that at the gate show with uh, Throne and Shock Narcotic that happened at St Andrews Hall uh, a couple years ago, I think. What? Yeah. At the gate. Uh, toward yeah. the end of the year that. Throne. I think that Throne. Uh, brought a lot of people. Narcotic. Yes, yes. We were at that show. We got free yeah. tickets for that show. Yep. <laughs> got free tickets for obituary. That was a good year. Yeah. <laughs> that was a good oh, year. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, anyways, Mike. Uh, all right. So uh, how about uh, Jeff? Jeff V, how'd you become a fan? Well, I've known huh. Al for a long time from past bands, uh, past bands I was in. We used to play shows with uh, Nurse Ratchet all the time. And then uh, <laughs> first time I saw Centenary was when they opened for Carcass. And um, what was that? Morbid Angel. 
Morbid Angel no. and Suffocation. Is yeah, that what it was? It was morbid and oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. That yeah was it's funny because I actually <laughs> found pictures I took from that show. And the zombies they played with us too at that on that show. And Recorruptor. Yep. Oh, that's right. Or yeah. Shitload of bands. That that Revocation band played too and Withered. No, was that Withered too? Hate yeah, Withered was on that. Hate Unbound was on that too. That yep. was a hell of a show. Yeah, that was cool. a good show. That was the first time I ever got to see them. And then uh a couple of years later I actually got to fill in for them on drums and did a little mini tour with them. So that was cool. <laughs> Oh, Every, everybody meet <laughs> our uh, uh, Swiss Army knife, Mr. Jeff Regiels. <laughs> he's played guitar yeah, definitely. for us. He's played drum for yeah. us at a couple gigs. He he's filled in for me. To record uh, our record. Oh, shit, yeah. Yeah, we're yeah, just starting recording the new yeah. album this weekend, by the way. Yeah, he's, he's very involved with, with us, so. Yep. He's, a good, cool. he's yep. a good duck. I try. Cool. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> And a, a, a Paul Stanley fan as well. Yes. So. Oh yeah. <laughs> that's a, that's important. Best that's on important. waking up. <laughs> oh, awesome. Talk about coffee, Mike. Ah, people, let me oh, tell you it. something. Sorry, there he goes. There he goes. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Jeff. Can I tell him the story quick? Go for it. All right. Yeah. He filled in playing drums for us when we played in Rochester, New York. Right. And on the way there and on the way back, uh, Greg also knows and hated, just hated. <laughs> the, uh, Matt, our, our lead guitar guy, has a copy of a CD that's like 150 some tracks or something, Matt. Is that right? 70. 70 tracks of only Paul Stanley intros or outros. Dude, it is the most hilarious <laughs> shit you have ever heard in your life, right? So we're getting to do some of the catchphrases, and it's oh, Greg. Is, Greg hates Kiss. He hates Paul <laughs> Stanley. There, something really aggravated him about it, and I feel bad still to this day. But we couldn't. Stop. <laughs> it we was couldn't a, stop laughing at it. Oh, it, it was so fun. It took over. It took over the entire trip. Yeah, it yeah. Was, you know, it was a long we all drive. And, yeah. <laughs> it was bad. It we was actually bad. we yeah. actually listened to that more than we did music. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we did. Man. Yeah. But uh, uh, man. Uh, Matt, and next time I see you, I got to get a copy it's of fucking thing. gold. Yeah, it's, it's, gold. Awesome. Yeah, it's, it's great. It's gold. great. You got to make like, it. It is, it is a truly a, like a test of endurance, too. I mean, like, <laughs> to get through, the whole get through it thing. all. Like, yeah, man. Well, wait a minute. Hey, Matt, the last song is a Zeppelin cover, right? Uh, yeah, spoilers, but yeah. <laughs> got to spoil it. Got to spoil it now. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. It's a damn, damn. Well, yeah, no, he, he wails on that one. Like both, you know. Yeah. Yeah, he dude, he's going, it. man. He's going. I, I, we make fun of him, but he actually is a really good singer, man. It's like, whoa. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think I, think I like a. After listening to that CD so much, I think I like him more than I did. So. <laughs> it's really, it's really an interesting, an interesting thing in its own, in its own. But even you know? transferred into when you got to uh, go through it though. My band played with you guys. Uh, and, uh, yeah, Max. Yeah, and then the, like the first thing I did when I got on stage was like, "Hey, Greg, Strata." Yeah, we we might just do this the whole time now. It's, it does. <laughs> it's like this fucking magnet it just sucks you, man. Do it. There's also. A never aired Folgers coffee commercial that he does that rules. Oh, oh my god, it's wonderful. The yeah. Best part yeah. of waking up. Oh, dude, it is so fucking funny. <laughs> it's good stuff. Man. Oh, I got it. All right, out. that's awesome. All right, enough of that. I'm sorry. Sorry, Jeff. That's, no, no, that's but yeah, that's hey. That's yeah. the power of Paul Stanley. It took, it took over for a minute, yeah. for sure. That, you know. It's okay. I will let Paul Stanley take over at any time. It's fine. <laughs> uh, so, uh, Nikki, I, I think I know how you became a fan, but maybe you want to give your story. Sorry, I was trying to unmute. I think I would just say I married into the metal. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, was never really a fan of the genre and just being candid. Um, but after you, you know, being with work. Al, AKA Stuart, 
Um, <laughs> um, you know, I, I, I found a new appreciation for the music that, that they do. And um, I love going to their shows and it's definitely expanded my musical taste. Awesome. That's great. Nothing wrong with the expanding tastes, you know? Yeah. 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 Hell yeah. And, and he paid me to say that. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's good to it's good to disclose your pay payments. So there you go. Awesome. That's right. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, Chuck, are you there? Can you hear us? Yeah, please? I'm here. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yep. All right. What's up, man? What's going hey. on, guys? Hey, hey what's Cheers. How you doing, bud? Hey, what's going uh, on? What's up, man? Michael, what's going on, brother? Not too much, homie. Nice to see you. Yeah. Good to see you, man. Looking good, looking good. <laughs> That's considering That's considering you are 20 years older than the last time I've seen you. So, <laughs> so how'd you become a fan, Chuck? Um, I actually known Mike for quite a while since the late 90s, man. We used to hang out together and shit. Uh, believe it or not, back when he used to play bass, I don't know how many people know that. Oh. But, uh, yeah, we used to hang out and shit, and... Uh, we reconnected on Facebook years later, almost 20 years later, dude. And, uh, oh, cool. Was, I seen a post about the band, so I checked them out. First track I heard from them was uh, Malignant Winds, and it it fucking blew me away, and I was hooked ever since, man. Nice. Malignant Winds, a song about cancerous farts. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm no, kidding. My... I'm kidding. Yeah. Actually, that wouldn't surprise me, knowing the way you were. <laughs> I was going to so, say... Because some of the songs, there's an element of humor. I, I Most feel. of the songs are about farts. No. <laughs> yeah. We don't need to bring up any stories of when Mike and I used to hang out. Um, we don't have enough time in the night for that. Thank you, sir. Oh, come on. We're going to have to throw up. <laughs> Thank you, point. sir. They were like Terrence and Philip. They kept on farting on each other. <laughs> lighting, them on, lighting them on fire and shit. Oh, yeah. Farting on each other. <laughs> no, it, it was more I was an asshole and I used to pelt them in the back of the head with my drumsticks type of shit. Yeah, so. that, that's happened before too, but that's all right. Yeah, I mean, yeah. shit happens, right? It does, it, it does. And uh, let's see, Car Carpolio. Are, yep. are you there, Carpolio? Uh, Carp is a friend of mine as well. Him and uh, Judas are both in the... Uh, oh, all right. And, they're, um, he's... Uh, they're, they're listening. Yeah, he's listening. listening. Yep. So. All right. Cool. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Okay. Listening. Nobody wants to ask any questions. Right on. That's cool. So he's well, a no, fan can... via me. Yeah. There you go. Hey, I, you can. This is really technologically advanced for my simple <laughs> white boy ass. All right. I just. <laughs> it's kind of blowing me away. So it's like, I'm just. I'm not trying to be rude. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Do oh, whatever man. I want. Nice. Nice. It's all good. It's all good. And then uh, Craig over in the hot tub. Hot tub, gonna get hot yeah. for me. Oh, hot tub, Craig. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's I'm why I'm not gonna have a video on here. The internet's not ready for me in a hot tub. <laughs> <laughs> right on, my man. But um, the thing I can tell you is, uh, I don't even know actually how I came across you guys. I can't even remember. I don't know if. Shall I? If, if, did you send me a song? Shall I, shall I tell the tale, sir? Yeah, you better oh. because. But I just want to say, like, once I heard it, the guitar sound is what I love. I love old school death metal. Yeah. It sounds like, and, I, and if you take a, offense to this, I apologize. But it's so muddy. It sounds like a boot stuck in the fucking mud. Yeah. And you're the ice. Yeah. <laughs> he gets it. It's no wet. offense taken. It's gooey. That's the way yeah. it's gooey. And then. We turned around, and um, I don't know if everybody knows who Cam Schwartz is from the Growl documentary. I know Mike does. Oh, yeah. Mr. Yeah. Cam um, Alfred. Oh, yeah. Yes. C Cam's awesome. Yeah. So Cam's I have awesome. CDN Records. I've had it for 30 years. Then him and I started it. He started the Growl, and I kind of help him out with it, basically. I, I support it, and he's the face of the Growl uh, record. So we joined forces. So I called him, and I said, you got to listen to this shit. Awesome. This shit's going to blow in mind yes. and then he listened to you guys and then i think you were one of the first bands he had on his docuseries he's doing uh we were we we were a little bit in yeah it was a few it was a few two three four but we were kind of like yeah. more we're, we're, we're like more of like the Ooh, excuse uh, me like kind of smaller bands because he was getting some yeah. games in there 
Oh, oh yeah, he, but he Dawn of the Dead, he, our homeboy from Nunslaughter was the week before mine. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Am I right about that? They got some good guys in there. Yeah. yeah so yeah. Yeah. So uh, yeah, go ahead, man. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's why I jumped on you guys. I, I contacted Mike and I mean I've talked to Mike quite a bit. And the weirdest thing is I've probably seen half you guys at shows because I live five minutes from Detroit in, in Windsor. Yeah. And oh. I've been to I've been to Blondies, I've been to I've been Blondies. I mean, I saw Metallica at fucking Blondies. I saw oh, Slayer at Blondies. Wow. Oh, yeah. God. Yeah. <laughs> you don't fuck. He, dude, Craig, don't fuck around, man. <laughs> <laughs> he got cred. He got street cred. And that, He's old. And that's why yeah, I'm yeah. hoping we get backed out of this fucking COVID bullshit and we can cross the border because, like, I can go to any of your shows because they're five minutes away. Yeah. Yeah, it yeah. should be really nice, but I'm very thankful that you guys signed. Uh, Mike, you and I have talked about what's going to happen and what we're going to do. Um, I really haven't talked to the rest of the guys in the band. I, I know I call Mike a lot, but uh, yeah, I think it's going to be a great album. I can't wait to put it out, and I'll be honest with you, that, and I hope we can keep doing stuff down the road. But, uh, yeah, I'm, start recording because I want this thing out. This is going to be awesome. Yeah. Oh yeah, Great, man! Thank oh. you very much, sir. Yeah, yeah thank, yeah, you. thank you, thank you, man. The recording process starts Friday, with cool. with Mister with with Mister Virgil's right here, Jeff. That's right. So he's right. the guy to blame if it sucks. <laughs> <laughs> all, all that guy, all that guy. <laughs> Absolutely kidding, Jeffrey. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Just remember, Al, I'm going to replace your vocals when you're not looking. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm always looking, bro. <laughs> well. So, so Mike, how about sharing that story about how you hooked up with Kurt? Oh, all right. All right, boss. It was, believe it or not, uh, Greg, purple haired, blue bearded oh, Greg yeah. that was on here and maybe still be on here or whatever. Maybe I hope he comes back on. Sorry for me, make it in. Sorry for me to interrupt you. Maybe is that Greg? Ever, man, but uh, um, Greg was is that Greg actually, that promotes you guys? Yeah, yeah. He's the guy that you thought was actually in the fucking band and he's not in the band, but he like <laughs> pushed the living fuck out of our shit, man. And and I absolutely love the man dearly for it. It's the greatest shit in the entire universe. He gets full credit. Yeah, much um, appreciated. He's he's our merch guy at shows and and, yeah. and he's he's helped us out. He really has helped us out. And uh well put it this way, one, I haven't talked to I haven't talked to other guys in the band. Talked to me about a post that he's seen from Cam Alfred Schwartz about, hey, is there anybody that's looking to get signed on a record label? And I'm like, <sighs> after having several problems with people trying to put out the last record, and the only reason why the last record came out is because Don Durr, guy plays guitar in Temple of Void, is like one of the greatest human beings on the planet. He helped record, and we went through a process with all that. Uh, he put it out, you know, paid for it initially to be put out on the CD. Um, he was able to do the second pressing as well. And that's why we have CDs and stuff like that. There's CDs coming to Canada. There's all kinds of shit that's going on right now. It's, it's kind of strange. And it's, 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 it's almost all encompassing, you know, but instead of being able to actually do the stuff, you have to be like confined and right. only in your certain neighborhoods and I can only hang out at his basement and you know, that kind of stuff. And I get instead of going to the club and actually playing the shows and right. having the guy that lives five minutes away in Windsor actually see you play live, <laughs> and then, you know, clickety click. And he's like, Oh my God, I've heard this. I've given him teaser stuff. Uh, you know, he likes what he hears and he's really interested in whatever, but the reason why Greg pointed me out to the cam Alfred Schwartz post on Facebook. Okay. So it's Greg, then Facebook, then Cam, or no, then Greg, then Cam, then Facebook. I'll thank in order. Okay. <laughs> and because of Cam, Cam was connected up with Craig Newman, Mr. Craig Newman at CDN Records. Okay. One of the oldest underground Canadian record labels that's 30 years, right, dude? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. It's been uh, since 1989. See what I'm saying? And you know, yeah. we didn't even know about it. And it's right in our fucking backyard. You know, he's got all kinds of crazy ass shit on his label, man. Uh, anything from like black metal to slam. It's like, awesome. wow, what the fuck, you know? And he's putting <laughs> our crap out. So that's cool. That's I, awesome. I cannot complain about anything, you know? 
the yeah. record late he was the one that was connected up with cam cam was the one that passed him off because he heard what he liked and he's like this is the shit go, go ahead and do this and it, it, write to him and that's the way it went awesome he called that's me a- like a few days later and sent me a contractual obligation uh we had a lawyer friend of ours go over it and it was all completely 100 percent legitimate he's like one of the only legitimate guys out there i don't know and I'm not saying that anybody else out there isn't legitimate, but he Hell is. Yeah. Hell yeah, and man. Hell whatever yeah. he says, he does. Yeah, he's, he it's definitely has helped cool. us out a lot. So very cool. Yeah, I got to be uh, honest with you. Um, the way I do my contracts is you guys do all the work, so it's your music. You own it. A lot of bands want me to do the digital, and I'm like, why do the digital? It's your money. You make it. And that's my whole thing. You guys have made it, the music. It's your music. And like I said, with the contract, and I think I told you, Mike, when we originally talked, the way I do my deals is if, a, if all of a sudden Nuclear Blast wants to sign you, I will rip up that contract and never hold you guys back. That's, You're never going to Nuclear super. Blast. No. Yeah. No, I'm just saying. <laughs> no, they, don't like, they don't like us. No. They won't like us. They got Gate Creeper. No, they, they got Gate Creeper instead. Oh, yeah. yeah. So. <laughs> but um, the one thing I want to say just before I go um, – I really want to thank Greg for all he does. Absolutely. I've never met you. I never talked to you, but man, <laughs> do you promote stuff? Like, I don't know all the guys in the band, but you're like a, an extra member, dude. Like the amount of promo you do for them and, and me, because I've seen you take my posts and, and like them and share them. I appreciate it, man. And, you know, I'll send a, a gift package to Mike to give to you or I'll send it to you, but I appreciate it, man. That, no, that kicks awesome. ass. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. Totally. yeah. We, Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Without a shadow Sweet. of a doubt. Full credit. Sweet. No Sweet. way, man. Uh, it's fortunate that Greg has uh, a gigantic bit of, of time to be able to do stuff that he's done. And he's actually utilized that time to a threatening degree. That's <laughs> It's relentless. It's 100%. And, you know, the man feels with all of his might, whatever he fucking gets into. And he's really into it. So cool. I was, That's very cool. it's, it's just, I don't know what to say, man. <laughs> no, I really it. don't. He did it. You know, I yeah. hang out with the guy on a regular basis. I was actually going to call him after this because I didn't know if he was going to wait to hear the thing on YouTube tomorrow or whatever the hell this guy, this does, yeah. you know, but I wanted to give him full credit for everything very that he's cool. been a part of. And Jeff, I wanted to give Jeff full credit, you know. And then Jim Albrecht. Yes. Okay, that's our bass player. Craig, that's Jim. Matt. Yeah. 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 That's our that's the Yukon <laughs> right back there. I know. Let's talk to Adam. And let's talk yeah. to Adam. Well, yeah, let's, I, I let's, wanted to talk to talk Adam. To Adam. Because I, I wanna because Adam's the new guy. He's like the yeah. new the new piece of Centenary. So Adam, how did you become the drummer of Centenary? Well, I uh ugh. About a year ago in September, they had some drummer issues, and uh, <laughs> I got a Facebook message from Mike in the evening, and I was like, oh my gosh, there's a band that wants me, and <laughs> whatever, like, so I uh, talked to him a bit, he sent me some tracks, he's like, learn these songs, and I did my best to learn them as fast as I could. I got the he job. did, he killed it, he killed it, <laughs> he did. Like yeah. we would play, yeah. we would play, yeah. we would play yeah. songs, and he'd like crush it right off the rip. I'm like, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, we, we made <laughs> it be that easy. And, yeah. <laughs> hey, Mike, was that the first centenary show when uh, the sanctuary was that his show the first time? Adam, what was what was um, his, what I was your first was show, buddy? Ask him. Or was it uh, Max Bar? Yeah, Max. When we played with Dusk. Um, oh yeah, yeah, right show. on, right on. Cool. Shout, out, shout out to our Wisconsin homies up in the Great White North, eh? So like, so like when we were trying to figure out who our next drummer was going to be, like we had Jeff coming over because he said he'd play these shows with us, like in Cleveland and Buffalo. Yes, right. But yet, you know, we we had you know interest from Adam because uh, we had been referred to him, and so like we would practice with Jeff through the set, and Adam would be there, so he'd watch Jeff play the drums. And then we practice again with Adam. <laughs> Jeff would play with and, and, and watch Adam. And then, yeah. and then, like, it was like 
It was like a marathon session for you guys. <laughs> it was like, it was great. It was fucking great, it man. Was, it was a really yeah. cool thing, well, yeah. You left, well, you think about how many bands, like, you know, they, they you, you don't have a fucking drummer. The drummer's the, always the, the kook. Oh, my and, like, God, you fucking <laughs> freak out. Oh, my so God, we have no, no clock. There's no clock. Ah! Well, uh, but you're cool, Zeke. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, look at that. He's giving us the thumbs down. Uh, oh, like, so, we have these two drummers, Adam and Jeff, who are not only great, you know, awesome fucking drummers, but like, you know, good dudes and like fantastic not, personalities, not, great musicians, not flakes, not like, and not fucking working flakes. at strip clubs. Yeah. <laughs> no baggage. No baggage. Yeah, no, yeah. Bu- no bagage. Yeah, the weird fucking. Uh, Ukrainian word. Yeah, so they're pretty much like <laughs> anti-drummers. <laughs> it's great. It's one. Well, you know, it's funny though, because um, you know, in my history of you know my short history of playing in a band, that was the hardest link was drummer and vocals. Those, right. Those like guitar players, bass players, they're all just totally locked in, cool, whatever. And Everybody you can find guitar that. players everywhere. Everybody's got a goddamn guitar, so mm-hmm. no problems yeah. there. But fucking drummers. And vocalists, right? Yeah, hard. Mm-hmm. Yeah, drummers. Drummers are drummers are real key, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, years ago, years ago, in the the second band that I created called All Creation Web, Chuck down here played drums. He might be over there. No, he's right here. Oh, yeah. For uh, yeah, Chuck. Oh, well, whatever. I'm seeing him. Over there. Okay. Sorry, dude. He's actually sorry, over like, not right in this right. direction for where I'm at, but I don't know. <laughs> It's like we, so, thought we it's like we thawed the ice man and like all of a sudden he's like, oh, what is all this strange shit? Yeah. <laughs> booga booga. <laughs> so, <laughs> Sorry. I, Sorry. I've, I've heard about the new album. I, I've, I've, well, I've heard that you are uh, getting ready to record. I think it's Friday. Week. So uh, tell me a little bit about the, the music. I, I'm going to guess you're sticking with the basic elements that make centenary music, but um one thing I'm wondering, is there still going to be the kind of, because that like uh, the the Grave song, the Kolchak song, that I love those, you know, they're, they're heavy as hell. Plus, they just r- remind me of those shows and, <laughs> and <laughs> that kind of horror aspect. So are you guys going to continue to do stuff like that? Oh, um, don't, you it, will not be, you will not be disappointed. <laughs> you will not fucking be disappointed, right? Awesome. I'll make it. Oh, can I make another announcement too? right no you can't i can't <laughs> oh okay go ahead all right all right fine all right we're doing another we're doing another recording hopefully in the near future a split with a band from cleveland called blood tusk cool and i got we're, we're working on like two or three new bangers for that too but it's all awesome. it's all like our age bracket the weird tv shit oh yeah <laughs> oh yeah yeah i'm like those guys throw down man they played the crow what was that uh that house in Detroit where Blood Tusk played? Oh, oh uh, uh, the Crow Manor. Crow Manor. Crow Manor, Crow Manor, yeah. Crow Manor, yeah. Crow Manor, yeah. Dude, they fucking, I'm sorry, they tore that place up, man. No, it was good shit. Yeah. So, great yeah, so, so, so Chuck, Chuck, we, we have, uh, we actually, we're right, we got another song about a Kolchak movie. So oh, cool! Continuing on with that theme, and uh, excellent. Yeah, we got you know a couple horror classics that we uh, pay homage to, and then just our own kind of imagination and shit. Yeah, yeah. and it's, some and some shit based upon reality. And there's too. reality. Yeah, there's uh, there's <laughs> definitely there's definitely a couple that are based on true events. You could say right. Yeah, right. That, it's, but <laughs> but could be horror movies. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. And not to All sound right. not to sound like. I, I don't want to sound like stupid or pompous or weird or anything like and that. Don't for a change, for a change. Okay, <laughs> somebody else in the band has come up with, you know, songs and material, and we've kind of like worked together for the first time around. You know, I've usually had to. Yeah. I mean, bless, bless, fucking Matt and Jim, and you know, our, our dealing with our old drummer and everything like that was like, it was, it was a, it was an interesting process, and everything ended up turning out pretty good. Uh, but the the other part is <laughs> the other part is is that the new guy now the new guy instead of being off is way on okay <laughs> he's really on 
things instead of being off. That's we, the only way I can. We explain. just let him be in the band because, like, we can practice at his house. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, let's be real here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, that was good. That was good. I know his laugh. <laughs> yeah. huh. Brother man. Yeah. No, seriously, having him in the band is like a breath of fresh air. He's given he, given he, things a little different. Now that's uh. He had songs as far as. He, and he, songs yeah, I mean, he wrote like four during fucking COVID garbage. He's I mean, got songs oh. written on the drums. Like, yeah. you know, you know, the drummer will play away, like have some ideas and shit. But like, he's like, really, like, he's got like these songs. And so he'll oh, play shit. the drums. And so like, you know, we got like these, all these ideas. Yeah. And I just kind of like, like went riff tastic on a couple of them. And we've come up with whole songs like in a practice. Yeah. It's, and, oh, I'm, it's am, been I, really, am I wrong? No, it's been a pretty, pretty good interesting process this time around you know like, yeah it was very very <laughs> since we've had free. so much downtime and no shows yeah it was very free it was very very <laughs> relaxed no pressure everybody bringing Nothing like you're saying you know this was more where we all kind of brought a lot of different ideas to it mad fucking yeah, everybody wrote two. you know so yeah mad cool. wrote two songs hey one of them structure wise all yeah. by you know so we went that route and some of the shit that he come up with man i'll just wait <laughs> <laughs> just wait i'm not uh, even yeah, we'll see i'm it. sorry man i'm not telling him what that one's called or nothing like that he wrote <laughs> one it's gonna have people going well yeah well i mean that's part of the, one of the reasons why i'm looking forward to everybody oh. hearing stuff is because adam it's gonna be really weird. put his stamp on everything and contributed and you know i think he's like you know the best drummer we've had so I, the material the material the material is gonna show that and, no he's not he's and, uh, yeah no you know no, Adam's off. Awesome, so. on Sunday or Friday, man. <laughs> Fucker. Yeah, Jim, you're totally Jim, you're totally right, dude. He is yeah. he's just so solid. He's so solid and he's just oh, really yeah. creative. Like like we got really, really, really lucky. Yeah. It, it's yeah. just been really like, you know, just really the process was so easy and like it just he actually everything has just drive. melded so quickly you know he has drive easily. he strives to yeah. be like the best at what we're doing even though what we're doing is like oh kind of a kindergarten medal <laughs> <laughs> yeah right something, something right? to that extent thanks Mark. yeah something thanks, something, ben, something like that man. yeah yeah <laughs> kindergarten <laughs> i'm up with that so, oh, I love that kid. But no, yeah, I mean, or what is it? If, if you want to, if you want us to like compare it to like, you know, the previous material, I mean, I think a lot of it like focuses on what we, you know, the best part of, you know, the band up till this point, and then we brought some newer things into the mix too. There's, you know, more variety. I mean, you could do a lot of stuff with HM too. You know, that sound. I just don't think a lot of, you know. A lot of people they focus on one thing instead of you know bringing in other influences. So yeah, it's so. it's weird. So yeah, you, you have to be careful, Jim. I'm right about this. You know, you got to be careful sometimes how you use that. Oh yeah. You know? So we actually have to play absolutely riffs around certain ways. Yeah, it's just weird, absolutely. You know? Yeah, cool. But yeah, I mean, I think we've done a good job though of bringing some other things to the table that you know aren't typical for hm2 bands no so. no awesome i'm looking forward to this man you guys got me hyped it's i mean i was looking forward to it anyway but this is yeah and it's peak my peak my answers <laughs> well, well, well we're really excited about the stuff so we hope everybody else yeah. likes it too so can i know, ask right. how many um tracks you guys are gonna have on your new one yeah 10 10 yeah Yes. That's awesome. Ten, ten, ten of them, and, and oh, nine of them have nine of them have never been played live at a show ever. Yes, yeah, so. yes, and and first, for the first time ever, uh, internationally, and domestically, right? Our first EP entitled "Where No Lives Matter," which has been out of print for quite a few years now, we sold 500 copies of that. Will be released as bonus tracks on the CD version through Mr. Uh, Mr. Craig, Craig and CDN, CDN Records. So, oh, uh, cool. yeah, I believe there will also be tape version for the tape people. Yeah. Uh, and he, I think he said something about we were talking about somebody in Europe want if if they liked it will want to maybe put it out on vinyl. Yeah. Oh, so it's like awesome. It's like the final. It's like the yeah, last. Yeah. Like, <laughs> it's like, like the Mecha Cube. You know like, what I'm yeah. saying? <laughs> fucking, fucking vinyl, man. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, I got vinyl. My records. <laughs> records look, look, look at look at look at behind him. My records. <laughs> <laughs> I know they look beautiful. Look at I'll do the yeah. Yeah, it looks great. Look at that, right? That was funny. Sorry, those right? those lights are, are fantastic. You got like this hemorrhage picture desk. That's pretty cool. <laughs> oh yes. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So uh, part of fans with bands is obviously to flip it around so that fans get a chance. Mike Bees asked some questions. Um, I don't know if Jeff or um, some of the uh, TK joined. Um, and, that, and I know there's a couple of people that are on that Who's can TK? enter into chat. So uh, if you guys want to ask questions or Mike, if you have a question, go for it. Oh, you know? me? Well, anybody that wants to, or, the, or uh -huh. I can just pick it up. Yeah, roll with the punches, you know. Do whatever. All right, I, I'm going to roll with it because I love to find out about people's origins into music, like what how they got into it, and particularly oh, what, what the, the first album that they bought was. Sorry, dude. So Almost knocked over his computer. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I want to go around the horn and figure out, uh, find out what everyone's first album was. So let's start with. Uh, Let's go with Alan and Mike. What was your first albums you guys purchased? First <laughs> album ever purchased? Yeah. First, yeah, first you first, go. Well, first metal tape, Justice. Okay. Tape. First, first metal CD, Puppets. Huh. I believe. Nice. <laughs> yeah. But like the first, yeah. Like I remember buying. The tide is high by fucking Blondie on forty five. <laughs> there you, know, you go. What? <laughs> yeah, knee high to a grasshopper. You know, first seven. First forty five music I, I ever that. owned was oh the God. the Hey Mickey song from Tony Basil. That was another <laughs> one, man. Yeah. yeah, that was that very very first record yeah. I ever owned. I listened to the tide is high over and over and <laughs> over and over, and it was like on one of them fucking Mickey Mouse. Players, you know, where like the old fashioned the box hand box. was like yeah. the mouse's hand pointed out. Yeah. That's why you got to <laughs> learn drums and then mouse. do your That's album yourself. That's awesome. <laughs> uh, I forget what birthday, though, my sister got me the double gatefold version. I of... <laughs> love Morbid Angel. No, no, no. Blood, blood, blood red vital. Yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> the double gatefold uh, version of uh, Your Maiden Live After Death. That. Oh, nice. Yeah, that was yeah. that. And then from there, like, she had like Metallica, Ride the Lightning, and uh, Anthrax, uh, uh, Among the Living. Among the Living on yeah. the on the stairs g leading up to her room, and I just seen him one day, and I looked at the the electric chair flying through the fucking air. I'm like, that's badass, right? So I <laughs> I put it in my little fucking jam box that was this big with one speaker, right? You know, and I'm like, holy fuck, what the hell is that? Put that shit on fucking <laughs> what is vibrate. That? <laughs> Who's got the eyes for the phone? Oh, I'm sorry. But, but, yeah, <laughs> Mike, it went, it went, it went right, from there. And then like the first tape I ever bought was from a kid that got busted by his mom for having rain and rain and blood on tape. Oh, that's, that's evil. Get that out of my house. I was like, <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> well, so little side story. It, about It went uh, from there. For, for uh, when you mentioned rain and blood, that reminded me, I, I didn't, I didn't actually even know who Slayer was at the time. Uh, I was working at, um, I was working at a hospital that had like a substance abuse area where they had kids there. Oh wow! Um, that, that for like inpatient, but it was run by a religious organization, like a Catholic church. Nice. So, nice. Um, and and in the in the priest, and I was like janitor then, so I'm cleaning the office, and on the floor is Slayer, Rain and Blood, the album, and I'm like, holy shit, what huh. is this? <laughs> So anyway, it's perfect. Sorry. What did perfect. you did you do yeah. with the album? Yeah, the did first. You, uh, you know, I just I just kind of looked at it and go, huh? I need to check this out. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, the first time I listened so, to that, I was like, I shouldn't be listening to this. This is wrong. <laughs> no, well, yeah, the first time I listened to Slayer, I thought it was psychotic, and I it thought, was wrong. Oh, yeah, it was so yeah. perfect. It was so. Yeah. it was like. But it was so. Right. It was like a controlled explosion. It was like blowing something up in a room without blowing the walls down. That's exactly yeah. what Slayer always did. Yeah. That was that was what I first heard when I heard that. It was like captivating for the entire half an hour. And well, I remember we're what, all like, oh, that's their best album. 25, no. yeah. 25 minutes. Yeah, it's not even an yeah. album. It's a fucking EP by, fucking, <laughs> by, by that kind of standard. So it blows everybody's doors off even that way. You know? 
know, let's, let's do uh, this, you know? Yeah. But anyways, I digress next. Yeah. Jim, how about you? First album. Oh man. Yeah. Uh, I, my, mine aren't, aren't probably nearly as cool, but, uh, Let's see. First, uh, don't worry about album that. that I ever bought with my own money. Uh, I bought a cassette of Quiet Riot, Condition Critical, like the day it came out. Nice, it's fucking sweet. You know, Hell yeah! That was like allowance. That was like allowance. Well, up until that, my my collection consisted of like uh, blank tapes that I gave to like my old hard on the like, vinyl guy I went to school with, and they would just tape shit off for me all the time, or I'd like tape shit off the radio. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, for, uh, first CD that I got that was metal. There was like, you know, 30 CD, like it was like when CDs first came out. So there was like maybe like, you know, 30 CDs in the rack. Right. So there's like, I got like uh, Ultimate Sin from Ozzy. And that was like the only, that was like the most metal CD that there was to pick from. Because, <laughs> you know, because they hadn't caught on yet. It was really? like, you know, CDs were like brand new. So like everybody was like waiting to see if like it was going to catch on. Yeah. They were more expensive then too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They were, they were mint back then. But Yeah. 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 I think I think it was like I think I remember it being like it was like oh definitely over twenty bucks. I was like, damn. So they've actually they're actually cheaper now than they were. Oh hell yeah. When first yeah, came you, out. So. You, yeah, you can get CDs for nothing. They're kind of giving away almost. Uh Matt, how about you? That's Matt. Yeah. 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 yeah the, mine uh, don't worry, Jim. Mine <laughs> mine will be the worst. I, I, can, <laughs> I can I can say that. Cause I'm really trying to like rack the brain too of like the, like the first one that I actually bought, and I think I was a Weird Al, uh, Bad Hair Day. Um, oh, bad Hair Day? Yeah. I, I, I got oh, that's that, a great album. I man. got that at a garage sale. Uh, yes! And, yeah, no, I was I was a pretty big Weird Al fan when I was a, a kid. Well, that's, but, the one, that's the one with Amish Paradise, right? Yeah, yeah, that's good, Amish Paradise. <laughs> hey, don't, don't Turn feel the water, boys. Why living me in the mom? Um, but, like, my, my dad had, like, was a huge like uh pink floyd beatles bob dylan fan and stuff so he had a lot of those records too so like when you know listening to those when i was younger a lot too just like a lot of his stuff so nice but Very yeah cool. weird l that would probably be either that awesome. or uh i can throw this one out too it might have been but before that i don't know uh jock rock uh the, <laughs> that's the really embarrassing one was that um, like I the tiger or something yeah it's got like those kind of like those <laughs> fist pumping like sport rock songs you know like yes. uh oh the final count you should cover one of those oh it's got it's got uh, right it's got oh, that yeah. and it had um the i want to rock and roll night of course and you know party yeah. every day. So, oh there it is come, come on Strata! right come right on, noise, yeah. see there's where it started so, i think it was oh, one of those I love <laughs> stockholm <laughs> Oh, uh, man. Cold gin. Cold gin. <laughs> <laughs> is this or is this not the rock yep. and roll capital of Virginia? There it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you you know yeah. I'm bringing gin on Friday, right? <laughs> oh no. There you go. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, so Adam, how about you, man? Adam. Um, I grew up. My uh, my mom was all about the, the hair metal stuff, and that's so I kind of grew up on that. And uh, after seeing Wayne's World and Alice Cooper in there, I decided I had to save up my allowance to buy myself the uh, Alice Cooper Hey Stupid cassette tape. <laughs> my first one. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> I had that one too, man. So. <laughs> how, and you guys, how cute is Adam with that? Right? Yeah. <laughs> it's weird because, like, we all like, like the music. But like, you know, Jim and Adam are the ones that are really into like the old fashioned hair metal-y stuff. You know what I mean? <laughs> so it, it, it's all worked, you know, it's fucking weird. It's just really, really weird. And like Adam and Matt, like the old, like the the, the silly bubblegum pop shit too, right? Yeah, the, the pop yeah. punk, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> I like what I like. <laughs> I don't. Yeah. Awesome. Adam's adorable. Yeah. Yes, he is. <laughs> Uh, Mike B, how about you? What was your first album? Uh, 1993, I got a five-disc carousel for Christmas, and the first CD I got was Metallica, Master of Puppets. Nice. Um, I spun it a lot, and 
got the CD taken away from me for a little while because of that song, Master of Puppets. <laughs> Master. So, Master. So my thing was <laughs> like, chop your breakfast on a mirror. That's doing cocaine. So, <laughs> so after a while, like they were asking me, you know, so what's your favorite song on this album? Because they're reading the lyrics and all that. And uh, I was like, Orion. They're like, oh, yeah, what do they say on that? <laughs> I was like, it's instrumental. They don't say anything. So I got my disc back. First <laughs> right <on>. Excellent. <laughs> hey, that's great. That's... <laughs> uh, Jeff, how about you? So uh, my mom was really, really big into like the 80s, like hair metal stuff. Um, I, when she was pregnant with me, she actually went to go see Kiss, which I always find really funny. Um, <laughs> uh, Kiss and Def Leppard, I think, were the two that she went and saw when she was pregnant with me. <laughs> and uh, oh. and um, wow. but growing up, um, we had in our like dining room, we had uh, a CD player and had all these different CDs and there was like Ozzy um, there was Metallica and the first Metallica record I ever heard was ride the lightning. And, but when it comes to what I bought first, I think the first thing I ever paid for with my own money was uh, faith. No more the real thing. Oh, that's a good album. So, and that got me on my um, obsession with, Mike Patton and everything oh, that yeah. he's done since. <laughs> so, that was fucking that was amazing. Awesome, man. Makes sense, really. Dude. <laughs> oh, man. And uh, uh, Nikki, what was your first album? Oh, boy. Um, so, it was The Go Go's. We got the beat. Yes. That, that was such a great album. Yeah. <laughs> yep. So that was that was when I was little. I used to dance around the house. But I think the coolest part is probably my first concert. My parents took us, I think I was like four or five, to Bob Dylan and Tom Petty at Pine Knob. Nice. Wow. And we had like seventh row seats because somebody had hooked us up and somebody passed my mom a really big joint. Um, <laughs> and I was like, that's a really long cigarette. She's like, it's not a cigarette. <laughs> so that was, a, that, was a, that was my first like concert experience. And I think that's that 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 beats the Go-Go's, even though oh, the Go-Go's are cool. That's <laughs> awesome. Are great. I've been like Indian. hanging out at a concert, your first concert, and your mom's getting high. Oh no, no! So they're gonna listen to this recording. She did not. No. Nope. Oh, that's uh, right. but <laughs> I but... cut that out. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saving myself for a flogging later. So no, she did not. But it was Whoa. it was definitely a really cool experience. That's right. Up to the attic. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and uh. Zeke, how, what was your first album? We might have already talked about this before. Yeah, we already uh, talked about that. So let me uh, change the subject just a tip. Yeah, go for it. I just I had to say something because I'm sorry. I I, I had to say hi because I haven't said said that. I I've been wanting to say hi to everybody in the uh, Centauri group. Oh. Uh, I just want to say hey because well, fuck, I hate this fucking uh, this quarantine. It's driving me insane. But uh, you and everybody else, bro. I'm at work. What's that? And everybody else, bro. Well, yeah, I know, I know what you're saying. I just want to apologize. I'm at work. I had to, I had to fucking, uh, I had to get on just because, just to say hi and sh show my support at least. Hey man, awesome. no, no need it. to yeah, apologize. We, yeah, we appreciate yeah, we it, man. We appreciate it's good to it. see you, man. You're awesome, dude. Yeah, it's yes, likewise, see you. man. It's great seeing you. Can't, can't wait till we can actually play a show again together. That's shit. That's what I'm saying. I, I'm sure that'll be. Uh, Sometime in the near future. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll get there again, man. We'll get there. And and, and, right and if you don't mind, dude, I would like to zoom with you every time you go to work. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. I thought that would be nice for you. I mean, I, I was expecting more girls to come in, but uh, I, we're we're short fucking handed today. Well, you're not short boobed. <laughs> <laughs> nice. No. Yeah, I felt better. Settle uh, down, Stuart. Settle down. <laughs> Easy now. You're being <laughs> right on. Oh man. I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. I really appreciate you guys uh cool. doing everything you got. I can't fucking wait to see you Good guys. See you, man. In, in Likewise, life. man. Likewise. Appreciate it, dude. Thanks, Zeke. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thanks, yeah, Zeke. thanks a lot, man. Thanks, yeah. dude. Tell the guys okay, you said, keep hello. Alive. Yep. Cheers, brother. Cheers, Thank man. You.
Cheers, man. Later on, guys. Right. Later. Later, man. And so uh, let's see. Uh, so I, I don't oh, know. Oh, yeah. TK, Graham. can you go out there? And Graham. There he is. What's going on, homie? What's up, guys? Oh. How we doing? Hello. Hello. Oh, shit. Nice to see you guys. How you Good. doing? Sorry we're late. We were grocery shopping. It happens. Fun. Long time no see, Graham. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so, so, so Graham, we were talking about first album. So what was your the first album? First about? album. Ooh, that's a tough one. The first album I ever bought myself, uh, my dad used to take me, my brother Justin, to Sam's Jams. The old <laughs> over in cool. Ferndale. Like, yeah, my dad would spend an insane amount of money over there. And, like, he'd always buy us a couple things. And then, yeah, the one trip, like, we had our own money from, like, allowance or whatever. And, uh, yeah, I picked up the uh, uh, the Cars Shake It Up 45. Yeah. <laughs> like, it, it had that, like, That's a good point. See? crazy looking lady with the uh, shaker on the front. Just. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. 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 Awesome. What about you? <laughs> about no, you, I was Katie? I think about that while you were talking. Oh. I think it honestly, I mean, it probably was like New Kids on the Block or something like that. <laughs> oh, yeah. But I think it was probably me personally, it was probably New Kids on the Block. <laughs> <laughs> Hang it tough. Hang it tough. tough. Yeah. <laughs> well, guys, uh, Sadly, I, we must wrap it up for for this episode of Fans with Bands. I've got one last question. Um, tends to be a very controversial question, so hopefully there will be no fights or anything afterwards, and it won't break up the band. But I'm just going to throw it out there: pineapple on pizza? No pineapple on pizza. One hundred percent yes. No really? pineapple okay. ever. No, thank you. No. <laughs> yes, I love pineapple. That's on why pizza. Al is the Part of this band <laughs> when extremely hammered pineapple on pizza, pineapple on pizza. So he'll never do that ever again oh yeah no, i'm, I'm out about you jeff pineapple yeah, on pizza i mean i'm for sure yeah see wow. all right really? all day all, right. all day every day yeah Not pineapple. adam we actually got pizza for dinner today and there was a piece of pineapple on there and i was pissed <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, here we go. We are sorry. Uh, okay. Um, yeah. It's fine. Uh, I'm not a I'm not against it. I mean, I've had it like years ago. Yeah. You know, it, there's worse things out there, so I mean, if, if people want to do it, I mean, whatever floats your boat, but when I when I get a pizza, it's like I'm like, you know, old school just give me pepperoni. Just give me a lot of pepperoni and a lot of cheese. I'm good. Yeah, yeah. There's so. nothing wrong with that. I will say this though: there, or, there is one. or all the meat, or all the meat. I don't care. Yeah. Ham, bacon, whatever. All the meat. The whole pig. Put the yeah. pig. On yeah. it. Just throw some <laughs> beef on that bitch. No, yeah. No fucking yeah. fruit, but chop up a pig. Right, yeah. a whole yeah. pig. Yeah, yeah. I was, gonna, Remember, I I was gonna say though, if you do do put pineapple you gotta have like jalapenos with it so it balances oh. the the sweetness i've heard that many times the sweet and the savory yeah, yeah. I've, not, I've not heard that before that i've had a, intense yeah. the first time i ever had that was called hawaiian pizza they um, had it at chuck e cheese my sister worked at chuck e cheese when we were kids <laughs> uh, obviously she was what 18 20 something like that you know so i was you know 10 11 12 years old like the dawn of the 80s right you know she brings his pie home and opens it up i'm like what the hell is all that literally that's what i said at like 10 years you know 10 11 what the hell is all that you know and she's all like it's pineapple i'm like what and she's like just try it it'll be good i love these and it was pineapple ham and onion nice dude yeah that's it i was like okay i get it yeah stay and uh mike b how about you pineapple on pizza yeah yes Yes. The Hawaiian, wow. the Hawaiian way to go. That's that's a style. If you like, if you like pizza with pineapple on it, yeah, I would do that. Wow. So this is the most I, I got to say. Been doing this kind of informal survey. This is probably the most pineapple lovers I've ever seen. In one oh, yeah. Oh, wow. so, We're all yeah. little fruity, man. We're all little fruity. <laughs> yeah. Little filter. 
Yeah, because even even Captain Judas, you know, who wasn't talking, he was all pineapple all day. So all yeah, day, so, yeah. I'm all day. That's cool. All day, That's man. cool. Get on, dude. Awesome. That's funny too, because I'll see people make like these psychotic Facebook posts about <laughs> how pineapple doesn't belong on pizza, and I just kind of laugh because I'm like, dude, it's not that. It's not worth getting upset over shit. Right. <laughs> I mean, you know, has anybody ever really tried some of the really disgusting and sick combinations that like Scooby Doo and Shaggy used to do? <laughs> No. I mean, it's, you know, you know, if it's, good, yeah. you know, if it's, if you try it once, if it's good, okay, do it again. I mean, don't, they were stoners, me so. my- Well, yeah, I mean, it, it took me till I got older to realize that they just had munchies. You know, <laughs> when I was a kid, I didn't know what was going on. But then now that I'm older, I'm like, oh, shit, they were just stoned all the time, they man. Just, I was ah. like, it was munchies. They were just, right? ah. they were just, <laughs> ah. just high. Just eating Scooby snacks. Doesn't matter if it's a dog biscuit. I'm eating it, man. <laughs> no, no. Yep. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah great, that's the real guys, secret. Yeah. It's great to see you. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Oh, yeah. Dude. Talk with you. Thank you, brother. Yeah, been, definitely. Been like a, we yeah. appreciate been a minute, you uh, so, yeah. inviting us to your OnlyFans page. Thank we you very much. <laughs> support anything that Chuck does. His Life in Michigan posts are awesome. His photography oh, is out of this fucking world. Pay the man. He deserves it. <laughs> yes. Thanks, man. Yeah. And, the band that he used and, to get uh, is pretty damn good, too. <laughs> you should you should you should you should put all that battalion stuff up online man i'm yeah. telling you I haven't, yeah. I haven't heard some of that stuff in so long i was yeah. like i'd love to hear well, some of so it. I, I actually did put it on Bandcamp for fun so oh, oh really yes you have to send yeah. me, you have to send me the link or i'll have to look it up dude because yeah cool yeah it's you know, it's there I, I didn't get i didn't get to mention that earlier that that's how far back i knew you from was seeing, that's right you no know, seeing battalion play at the at the only good bar in the shitty town i grew up in that usually had cover bands playing all the time and like we were like oh there's gonna be a metal night <laughs> and like you know we we knew the one band that you guys played with we we're like okay we'll go and then like you guys played and i was like shit these guys are actually good <laughs> <laughs> so so, that was, so yeah i, I love mean, when that happens to, to, oh, to have it be all these good. you know all these years later you know having you take pictures at shows and shit that i'm like talking like you played in battalion? I was like, no way. I was like, you know, so yeah. So that was pretty cool. But yeah, I'll 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 definitely look that stuff up because uh oh, know, man. a lot of good memories there. I think that was a show in Adrian, wasn't it? I think. Yeah, yeah the yeah. pub. Yeah, the pub. Yeah, that was yeah. fun. Yeah. That we yeah. Just, there's no there's no stage there. You're just playing on that no. checkered floor. <laughs> no. Very first yeah, very first gig I ever very first gig I ever played was at that bar. Yeah, that was <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. That that bar was something else, man. Good time. He was ran ran by a dude named Swinger. He smoked like big ass cigars. And the <laughs> yeah, I mean the that place was a trip. Yeah, that was, but but no, yeah, dude. Thanks for having us on, though, dude. I mean, it's good to see you again. Yeah, hell yeah. It's been a minute, so thanks, yeah, Josh, Appreciate man. it, man. Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Yeah, yeah bros. I, I can't wait to hear the new album, and uh, hopefully well, you'll got- send. Send me a copy in advance. I got one more thing to say. You got you. You got it, brother. Okay, I got one more thing to say. Anybody interested, directly through Facebook Messenger, get a hold of me if you're interested in any merch. I got a shitload of T-shirts. I got sweatpants. I'm totally out of hoodies now. I'm going to have new stuff coming. I got copies, second print of the new record, Into the Graveless Beyond, out on, oh, my God. Death Psalm Records. Death Psalm Records. Excuse me. I'm sorry, Don. Uh, and, and then copies of that are also heading for international purposes on Friday. through uh, <laughs> nice. our record label, CDN Records, out of Canada. Awesome. And, uh, yeah. And, the, new, and- the new record's going to be called Death, The Final Frontier. <laughs> awesome. I will put links out on uh, the show notes for folks that want to peruse all that once this gets out there. Thank, so. thank you very much, man. Yeah, thank yeah, you for having us. Thanks again, man. Thanks yep. a lot. Great right, seeing you, Jeff. See you on Friday. Yep. Can't wait Mike, till you guys Mike, hear the new shit. Cheers, oh, sorry, cheers Adam. Yeah. Cheers. Thanks. Good, Good to see all you guys. Later, later, cheers, man. cheers, everybody. Nice seeing you guys. Good yeah, you, for man. sure. See you guys. Adios. Thanks again to Mike, Al, Jim, Matt, and Adam of Centenary, as well as fans Jeff, Nikki, Mike, Graham, Chuck, Zeke, and Craig for joining me on this episode of Fans with Bands. Be on the lookout for the new Centenary being released on CDN Records. In the meantime, they have some fantastic death metal available and some very cool merch. Be sure to go check it out. See the show notes for all the details and links. These are tough times for everyone in the creative industries such as music. 
Your support of live streaming, purchasing music, and merchandise is critical. If you can help out your local artists, please do. If you are in the Michigan area, consider following the Playing in the Detroit Area Tonight Facebook page. It is a place for fans and bands to support each other and share our combined love of music. Thank you all so much for listening. Be sure to hit subscribe on your favorite podcast service to get each and every episode of Fans with Bands. Spread the word by rating the show and leaving a comment. We want to hear what you think. You can keep in touch by following us on social media. This is a Life in Michigan production. Until next time, be well and kick out the jams.